Hello, my name is John Sayer, Technical Marketing Manager, Civil Infrastructure here at Autodesk. Today I would like to talk about one of the What's New features in AutoCAD Civil 3D 2018, using the Section View Drafting Buffer. So a little bit about this project. I've got a corridor here that I need to go ahead and sample some cross sections for. So I've got my section sample lines created for my particular alignment profile. So I'm going to throw some some cross sections out there so that we can start to look at the functionality of the section updates and the section drafting buffer. So I'll go ahead and just select create multiple views. Uh, it's going to be road C that we're working with. I'll hit next. There's a there's a function here that I need to show you inside of the group plot style. All right. So if you look at the group plot style, you can see here they've added functionality called add drafting buffer size to space between views. All right, so this drafting buffer is what's going to allow us to add manual text or manual objects, just line work of any type, inside each cross section view if we'd like. And when we move those cross section views, that text, line work, anything we've got in there manually will move with it. So you need to be sure that this is checked in order to use this functionality. So I hit OK. I'll just go ahead and hit Next and Next. Hit Create Section Views and I'll throw those out here. All right. So here's a copy of my section views. All right. So to show you this, I'm just going to move a, a piece of line work and some text into, these, into this section view. All right. Now, what I'm talking about and what the benefit is of this actual drafting buffer is that when I move this section, this text and everything will go with it. So if I just move this cross section to here, all of my manual text goes with it. If I was just to draw a piece of line work, so if I just draw a line across this section view and I move my section view, that manual piece of line work goes with it, plus my text in my revision cloud. Now this could be duplicated on every one of these cross sections and as you know um, sometimes we have to put manual text or we want to add manual text to our section views or manual line work to our section views and the and the problem was is that if we rebuilt this um, and, and let me show you what I mean by that if, if I grab this section view and move it we move section views all the time if I need to update this then I select update section view group and it moves and and all of my manual text would stay where it was before. Well, now being able to use the section drafting buffer, it moves all of that text back with it. Another problem that this solves is, is sometimes after I've built my cross section views, I need to add a section view. So let's do that. Let's add a section here. So we'll do, we'll create another sample line. All right, and we're just going to create it manually right in here between 250 and 300. I tell it the swath width is 50 feet both ways. It's 274.39. Now I need to add that to my plan set. All right, so if I look here, it's going to hopefully put it in in this area right here. I'm going to throw that in my my model here that that section view I just created. So I'll hit create section view. And I'll just have it create that one section view. That's the one that we just generated, 274.39. I'll hit Create Section View, and I'll just stick it right there. Well, I don't want to have to move every one of these section views in these sheets. Okay. Now, I could actually create, if I had additional line work labels like I talked about here earlier, I could add those here to this section view, and it would all of that information would place itself also. But once I've done that, I need to select, I can tell it now that I can select that specific section view and I want to move it to a section view group. So this is our section view group that we have that you see right here. So I just select that section view group, hit OK, and it moves it into that group. Now, where did it move it? If I look here, it was between 250 and 300. So there's 250, all right? And here's 300, so it added that section view right here. All right. So again, if I move those around, I can actually have additional line work and text, and that information will move if I have to move these sections, or if I need to add a section view, and I could add multiple section views, and it's going to put them into our section view group in order of stationing. 
Also, if we have text that is below, or maybe we add to each individual cross section, you can see here, I could copy this text to multiple cross section views, and I could move this section, and the text moves with it. Now, I can also, if my text is below, I can grab my my frame and move that down and then when I move my cross-section view everything updates all right so we've got a lot of functionality here that we've been we've been asking for for a long time and being able to add manual edits to a section view and then have them move whenever I physically move that section that's huge that saves us a lot of time we don't have to move the manual edits and we can be assured that everything stays in its correct location. I hope that the information in this video has helped you to understand one of the new features inside of Civil 3D 2018. I want to thank you for watching and have a great day.